Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Playoffs Season 53 second round match between Purple Chest and Mr. Page. Two, uh, two giants of the Blood Bowl, two streaming community. Um, pretty interesting match. You did, Chigan, you did. I'll, I'll put them on later. I'm, I'm going to put them onto the Tato Drop thing. I'll, I'll, I'll make, I'll do something good later. I'll, I'll, I'll like... I don't know, something. I need to work them into some kind of screen that I can put on the screen rather than them uh, individually. So yeah, looks like a DACA from PC. Lovely. A lovely DACA from PC. Oh man. Oh man. He obviously hates the withdrawn offence, as he likes to call it, but it's a DACA. Um, but he's using it here, so he's got, an, he's got two extra apples, a wizard, a babe, an eldril, um, because his team is, to be honest, a bit shit. <laughs> and Mr. Page's team is amazing. <laughs> amazing. So, it should be pretty interesting. Um, yeah. Mr. Page historically struggles versus elves. So he's just taken a million tackle. Which is a pretty good idea, isn't it? <laughs> Even the jugs could have been an extra tackle, and he, so but you know he's only got four. He's got five tackle total, which is pretty good, isn't it? So that's uh, and obviously strength four blitzers wherever he wants. So this is a pretty anti-elfy team. About as anti-elf as chaos gets, I guess. There's no tentacles. That's the only thing that's missing, isn't it? I guess a few tentacles would be nice. Five tentacles, the perfect amount on a on a chaos team at some point. So you could have, you could totally shut down one tons there, right? One tons, and I said one tons instead of one turns. You can totally shut down one turns by having five tentacles uh, holding tents across the back line, which is pretty good. I guess maybe even four tentacles, right? You could, because then you could fill the middle section. So four tentacles is all you need. So yeah, if if, if the warriors all got tentacles, would be pretty good. It is a pretty anti-anything team, yes. I mean, but you expect, like, you expect Chaos to be, like, anti-bash, right? Because you can't not take Claw. Like, he's got millions of Claw and loads of Mighty Blow and piling on. Like, every Chaos team takes loads of Claw, Mighty Blow, piling on. But in this case, he's got lots of tackle as well. Um, you know, normally, normally the Orcs get, like, you know, about four tacklers and Elves feel bad about against Orcs. But... The Chaos, like, you know, obviously don't start with block and have to take claw. So the Chaos teams end up better against the Bash teams, but a bit exposed versus Elves. He's taken Fend, and funnily enough, it was crucial in the last in his in his first round match. He's taken Fend because he's got a niggling injury. So obviously he's a massive claw palm target. So I guess he took Fend to not get claw palmed. But yeah, hilariously in his first round matchup, the uh, the Fend was like super Super impactful. <laughs> so yeah, can't argue with that. This probably wouldn't have taken too long in real life, eh? With Daka. God, I, I love Daka. I think it's really cool. Like, I think it's really cool. It's like a unique, you know, a, a unique wrinkle to the game after all this time. Right? Pretty amazing. Yeah, sure, he's going to put the ball in the end zone here. Cause you don't want them to be able to touch, touch up. Oh, I don't like this. Do I not like this? Um, we have to check for frenzy now <laughs> to make sure PC isn't completely mental. Nope, there is no frenzy. Um, I think having a guy here, like you want to go back in the end zone, right? So that because if you blitz this guy, you don't really want to touch him with a tackle. And okay, you, you know you've got ways to get out of it and stuff. But I don't know. I, I don't like inviting that on. So he's going on turn four, a turn too early, in my opinion. 
Oh my god. Eldril's in. Really a turn too early then. I would have rather just like, you know, moved up this turn. If you, if you, if you, you know, just move up and stand here. And then next turn you can try and break through. This is a long way to go. Pretty crap from PC, if you ask me. Oh, but he does get the surf. Which maybe he wouldn't have got next turn. But, I mean, it means you, means Eldril dies, which isn't great. <laughs> Witch Elf gets surfed, which isn't great. <laughs> this is, uh, why is he getting the Witch Elf surf? That seems terrible. Not what I would have done. Fan of this by, by PC. Okay, that that protects the, uh, the witch elf. But I mean, that was a that was a. Oh no, it wasn't because he hasn't got he hasn't got tackles on. So it was just a two plus two plus. It means he gets a little bit more in front, which is better. But, I mean, all these like this is four players getting back knocked down, isn't it? And maybe banged out. I would just like to wait another turn, like, you know, obviously at the end of the day you've got to do something eventually. But I would have closed the distance and then got the clean breakthrough, like, you know, like if, if he'd started his whole team here, then that gaze and surf meant that he, he gets everybody up here, right, and he's broken through. So he just hasn't got a breakthrough now with the PC. It's the pal. The cats. <laughs> yeah. Apple. One of the many apples comes in and fails. Who did he blitz? I don't even know who he blitz. Did he not blitz that turn? What the hell? I'm bamboozled. Did PC did did Page blitz then or not? I don't even know. So yeah, like this is where you could have got the previous turn, right? This is spicy, isn't it? <laughs> PC has some ideas, I'll give him that. Allowing an instant two dice on the ball is one of them. I guess he was going to foul with two assists, but I mean, that's not exactly good. <laughs> yeah, maybe he just didn't see him. But like, even without him, he just goes and hits there anyway, like he hits, he hits him with tackle. But like even if he, even if it works, it doesn't matter, right? If he gets the pow, did he had to he had to go another square, didn't he? He had to he had to stand here to foul because he's still just getting blitz with tackle. Pom? Oh no, he's not. He's not okay. That's weird. That's weird player from PC. Like I know his players are a bit rubbish, but. Warrior's definitely not better than hitting with tackle, is it? Come on, man! Tackle blitz is way better. Oh! <laughs> not terrible. And yeah, now 
that. Now, now the fact that PC's team is rubbish is uh, is going to become a factor. <laughs> Mr. Page's team is pretty incredible. Enjoy your turn. <laughs> oh, he bolts. He's got a wizard. Oh, but using the wizard to get your score and your drive. Oof. Oh, God. Maybe one of those apples should have been a reroll, honestly, because, like, he, you know, he hasn't. There's so much tackle on Mr. Page's team. And he's lacking so many skills and stats on his team. Maybe he should have just taken uh, more rerolls. Not that he could use them in the same turn like this, but hey. Wow. He's seen a lot of trouble. I mean, the team is brutal, right? Mr. Page's team is absolutely brutal. So much tackle. So much claw mighty. It punishes you pretty hard for anything going wrong. <laughs> I mean, a lot of fun for Mr. Page. You can hear, you can almost hear him going, oh, dead, dead, dead. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun for Mr. Page but yeah not a lot of fun for PC I imagine and he's got the ball on a blodger and there's PC out of rerolls but might, might, might get away with this nil-nil use a wizard to escape his half nil-nil Hypno does turn off block and dodge, etc. in 2020, yep. Correct. Whether it does in Blood Bowl 3 or not, who knows. The important thing to know about Blood Bowl 3 is that you shouldn't play Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> Basically. This is quite a good turn from PC there, it gets, gets all his men up. It gets some kind of defensive position to guard against the counter score here. Hello, Magnus the Pink. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been a bit of a, a bit of a botched DACA from PC. Um, you know, is the crapness of his team and the goodness of Mr. Page's team played into it a bit? But I think it was uh, there were bad decisions along the way. Which you know you can't afford that, right? Against this with these teams. PC has to pretty much play perfectly and get lucky <laughs> to win. <laughs> that's what he's. That's what. That's what you're asking of him here. He's. He's got to play pretty much perfectly and get lucky. And he hasn't really been lucky, and he hasn't really played perfectly. So, not a good combination. I mean, in my opinion, you know. I just, I didn't like that the turning went through because he, he just didn't get a lot through. Got like two players through and four plays in contact. I'd have rather just moved up that turn and then bulldoze through the next turn. Wait, so you actually get clear of the team. Man. He didn't get clear when he, when he when he broke through and couldn't get clear when he broke through. He took it like a true dwarf coach. Well, we've got a 1D on the ball here. <laughs> Instant skull. <laughs> and there might be a counter skull. 
Hello, Singolo. <laughs> oh. Oh, Singolo, seeing as you're here. I love Blood Bowl 3 like I love Eat Glass. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> and uh, it went great, thanks, Chavita. It went absolutely great. That is simply not true. The data does not support your assertion. <laughs> I think I've heard it a thousand times. <laughs> oh, it's still not enough time, Singola. It was genius. You are the best thing about Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, he fails the pass. Ah, it doesn't score. Interesting. Interesting. So good. <laughs> yeah, at least he used a reroll. Um, and look, he's still got Eldril somehow. Somehow, Eldril has been punched like about four times by Killer Chaos and is not dead. Normally, he gets hit by a Snotling and dies. PC's still got two reroll, uh, two two apples even, not reroll. Two apples. Only taken one cast. So it's still very doable. Still got 11 players for, uh, you know, a turn at least. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I'm, yeah, obviously Mr. Page was a big favourite before the game started and is still a big favourite. Really, PC needed the wizard on defence, right, with the Veldril to give him a good shot. Um, get the turn over and score. But, and he still can, right? He still can. He's, if he gets the if he gets the Eldril turnover and score, he can still one one nil. It would have just been much better to have uh, to have you know, been one nil up by now, or uh, or defended first and used the wizard on defense. So it, it bit sucks it sucks a bit that he's had to use the wizard on his own offense to get out at nil nil. Rolling a ten will help. Mr. Page might let him in with some uh, loose positioning. Oh, well, is there's no strippers on PC's team. But it's a wrestle ball carrier, so that's something, isn't it? There's a bit of weakness there. Also, a, another tackle that can't, you know... Uh, you can't use his tackle. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Page can't use his tackle. <laughs> I was trying to think of something better to say, but I just couldn't. <laughs> uh, the drugs, yeah, the drugs, which hasn't got blocked, unfortunately. So it's. Uh... Um, no, because I, th I think it's okay, right? If if by some miracle he does sack your ball carrier, you can you can just pick it up on the uh, two hands guy probably. So I think it's fine just to keep hold of it on the rackler. Like it's not ideal, but it's fine. I might hand off if it got scary, but it's 1 in 6 to use a reroll is, is a bit crap at this stage. And obviously 1 in 36 to just lose. Bad play by PC there, didn't use the gears. Got to use the gears, haven't you? Like, it's, saying it's bad is maybe a bit harsh, but it is. <laughs> like, you know, it's like, oh, this is a nice, this is a nice chain for a, a hit at the ball, though. Um... Uphill, but still pretty nice chain if they hit the ball. But you know, and okay, you know, he's good chances of pounding this guy. But, um, but you know, at the end of the day, the gaze at the end is free, so you've just got to do it. Um, even you know, even if you think you're gonna knock the guy over or whatever, but it's understandable, right? A lot of, a lot of people that don't play vampires. A lot of people that play vampires don't use the gaze at the end of every move action, um, so it's kind of understandable to 
to not play 100% optimally with Eldril. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe bad is <laughs> is harsh, <laughs> but on the other hand, there's like literally no cost to it, right? So it's it's one of the rare things that is just wrong because <laughs> everything has a positive and a negative. And while you know somebody might not like some play, it's very hard to say most players are wrong. Like I didn't like PC's push, but. You know, if he'd done it the way I would have done it, it might have ended up even worse for him, right? He might have been going one nil down. This is a bit tricky now for uh, Mr. Page. So now I wouldn't mind. See, now now having the two plus handoff is a pretty cool option, right? You could, you could oh, we're we're live. We're, it's going to slow down now. Unfortunately, we're live. Um, like now he's got the you know blitz this guy or whatever blitz this guy block this guy then he's got the handoff so so I, that's why I quite like leaving it on the default guy because it, it does give you that two plus handoff out if things go wrong and you kind of have to hand it off. Hmm. Mr. Page is not the quickest player ever. Has to be said. <laughs> but you can chain here, can't you? Which is quite good. Oh, no, not like that. <laughs> he could have chained the ball character here and then and then punched the other guy away, then moved here and blocked here and then supported over there, probably. But he's got the two plus handoffs still, right? Why are playoffs three minutes? This the, the playoffs could be two minutes. <laughs> I loved how anti three minute turns J five and Skuro were. <laughs> but um you know. I made use of the three minutes so it's alright, isn't it? Way. But it was a good advert as to why the uh, packed LOS is a bad, really bad idea. <laughs> I mean, PC has to has to turn him over here. Really, stopping the score and going overtime is probably a recipe for disaster. Like he might be able to get it done right if he's still got six players, maybe, but unlikely. He's probably gonna have to use all his rerolls on defense. So, realistically, for PC, he's got to get the turnover score here, and he's got Eldril, so he's just he's got a pretty decent chance of it. But he's got no guard, has he? Oh no, he does. He's got a guard. Oh, he's got a guard. So we gears him, guard in, 2D the ball. Does he have any tackle? He's got wrestle. So he's got a wrestler and a guarder perfectly positioned to just gaze this guy and get straight in. Oh, he fails the gaze. Diced. <laughs> what is this cage? Yep. It's it worked. It's an effective cage. 
Oh wow, he's going for it anyway. I'm not sure about that. But again, I guess he's got to do something, right? Like that that's what that's what PC's thinking here, right? He just has to get something done as soon as possible because he's gonna he's gonna hemorrhage free rolls for players. Like he's on a clock. He just has to get things he has to make things happen or he's gonna lose. Like he is gonna lose. He is gonna lose. <laughs> Unless he makes something happen, so. It kind of makes sense that he's going to make some plays that look bad in the second half. But they may be the correct plays. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't get... That was the wrong square, wasn't it? You want the guard there and then dodge into here to hit the ball. If you've got the guard there, you're not cancelling that assist. So that was a weird. I I agree, Pedro. I... But you know we don't know the rest of the turns, pl the plan, turn plan. And that's the thing, isn't it? You know it's quite cool when people are in chat and they say, "I was going to do this afterwards," and you're like, "Oh yeah, that makes sense." And like. Fimir the other day when I was completely perplexed by what the hell <laughs> what the what the hell uh, what's he called Artemis was thinking um, Fimir Fimir uh, worked it all out so you know is what it is I've got an idea. I've got an idea for something to do with Mr. Page's turns. <laughs> um, hopefully, uh, hopefully it would be nice if somebody joined, wouldn't it? But you know, I guess that's. Oh. Oh, her removal. Pull back the ball or try to take some space on the left. Um, I think I think centralizing is better. You've got the whole half to play. Um, so I think centralize, make it tough to crack with Eldril, and then try to hunt Eldril. 
as much as possible. Because that elderly can't do shit, man. Pretty much. Pretty much elderly is the only the only weapon that PC has. So just just try to take out elderly. Oh man, you'd have had another one day on the ball with wrestle. Like obviously don't stand right next to a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> when I say centralised, I wouldn't have centralised in the way that uh, Mr. Page did, because I wouldn't want to get instantly one beat by a wrestler. But um, maybe not. Maybe just like go over here or something. I don't know. Oh wow! The Dublé skulls has to eat them. Gets cast. Almost no point after the badly hurt now. Because, like, at the end of the day, if he doesn't get it done in this drive, he loses. So, yeah. Yeah, that was that was pretty rough. I mean, the good thing for PC was if he'd hit the ball, he would have sculled and then re-rolled skull. Um, so, you know, it's all right. Hello, Tapioca King. GG. I think blitzing Eldril is the move here. Move the whole cage up there. You can basically abandon these two. Just, just pom Eldra, right? Pom Eldra, and go up here. Man. <laughs> it was pretty good, wasn't it? It was pretty good. I mean, I, I don't know. I, my defense wasn't the best, was it? I left that orc open. Maybe I overcommitted down the side to get that. Maybe the surf wasn't such a good idea. Um. But you know, well played for uh, for exploiting it. I just don't know. Like it's tough, right? I, like I didn't want to, you know, I I didn't want to go in and, and get punched a lot. <laughs> that was the, <laughs> that was the problem. <laughs> because like, so you know, I was trying to uh, I was trying to uh, you know do as little as possible on defense. Um, uh, yeah, obviously on the deck. I mean, well, I, I usually dacker anyway, right? I, I tend to like dackering anyway. But on the defense, you know, there were times when maybe I should have gone in. I should have tried something, you know, could have, could have, could have, maybe not should have, but maybe could have, you know, tried to get a bit more into things. But uh, I don't know, I just thought, just play it safe and, uh, and ended up nearly getting punished. Well, did get punished for it, but then. Uh, Got the lovely one turn. Oh yeah. So it looks like Mr. Page is doing exactly what I said. So that's pretty good. He could re-roll this. Like he will, he probably won't because there's re. Okay, so he does. Because there is like potentially overtime. But I actually quite like the re-roll there, honestly. I mean, you've got a pile on. There you go. He's gone. Like, I, I quite like this because uh, that is that is PC's main way of uh, winning the game, right? Now it looks like PC can only draw um, and get to overtime. If Eldor comes back, he will have a catcher to one turn with. And there is no stand firm on Mr. Page's team. So, you know, he's got a juggernaut. There'll be a way to, to maybe, if he's got any players left. There'll be a chance of a one turn potentially. <laughs> yes, exactly, Singolo. That is the biggest mistake indeed. I mean, you know, Chaos, Chorfs, Nurgle, 2000 TV. They're the best teams. Because even Wood Elves 2000 TV can just lose to any, any like Randor Dwarf team, can't they? Like Shawnee's, Shawnee's unbelievable Wood Elf team just lost to some dwarves. I can't remember who Nick's 2000 TV team lost to. Could have been Singolo with random dwarves. Like it's just, it's just too easy to just lose to some random dwarves with elves. They can just get banged out too easily. Like they, they can do a lot of stuff, sure, but they're just not as consistent, I think, as the, uh, as the big TV claw bash teams. PC puts in a reroll and fails. 
I mean, he's trying his hardest, isn't he? Bless him. But it's just not uh, nothing. Nothing he's attempting is working. <laughs> Literally nothing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow 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 so now he can basically just consolidate up here and uh, it could blitz him and then get this warrior up as well so or he could blitz here and do something but i think probably this blitz is the best right free up this warrior probably free up this warrior to come uh, punch stuff move up a bit Pretty easy. I mean, he could try fouling that uh, the guarder, but we just move the ball a little bit. It's not hard to move the ball a little bit here. Maybe that claw pommer could have blitzed. That's maybe okay, actually, right? Because you are more likely to uh, to knock him over and remove him. Like, because you could just block with this guy and then into the wrestle hit. But then if you do that, then that's maybe like two people you're activating. This one gives you the more chance of just activating one and getting plenty of people up. Though I really don't think you should be getting this far forward. He just had to get a little bit away from the guard, right? He didn't have, like. It's just better to be here, basically. This this X cage could be here, and it's just better because you've got a warrior next to you. Whereas now you've disconnected your whole team. Like more, he's basically giving PC more chances now for no no real reason. No benefit to having it here over here. Yeah, the bl the blitz was. It was okay, but obviously, if you he probably did it because he wanted to move up this far, but there's there's just no need to move up this far. I would say it's wrong to move this far. I think it's better to have, to be here and not follow there, so that you have you have a bit more support from the rest of your team. But yeah, you can dodge in with the Edge 5 for a 1D, can't you? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, G5 for a 1D. Whereas if the guard was on this corner, it'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it wouldn't have been much harder. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I don't know how you would have had to cancel that. So yeah, I mean, the, the guard wasn't on the corner. Yeah, PC can can get get off a load of guys now, can't he? And uh... oh, but that's, that's really oh, it doesn't even re-roll it. Wow. I don't know what he was blitzing with him. Was he just going to blitz the corner? That was a bit weird, wasn't it? Could this guy should have got up and gone here right first because he's got dodge. To just move him up to there first. And I would have gone to the edge 5, just 1D, see what happened. Or not, and I guess if you're not, but then if you're not blitzing, if you're not blitzing the ball, then blitz with him so that you, you can do that dodge last. But yeah, Mr. Page has got himself into a bit of a pickle here by, uh, by making the cage so far away from the rest of his team. I mean, he is close at the end zone, which is good, isn't it? But I think it was worse abandoning his team. Because <laughs> you always got, like, you know, you get a few more turns to get closer later. This guy was to punch here. 
so that if it's a if it's a power, he gets the two better players off. Mr. Pierce's team is so rowdy. Three apples used. And, uh, but, like, it's just so devastating, isn't it? Claw Mighty tackle everywhere. And all the tackle has really, really paid off. It's sucked off a lot of PC's re rolls. And got some key knockdowns. Yeah, I read the night bottom with him first. He's, he's tackle Claw Mighty, so he's a tackle. You want, to get your, you want to get your tackle in amongst the in amongst the uh, watchers. Well, this guy could get served if he goes there. isn't the best move ever <laughs> but there's not a lot else PC can do oh god well, he's got a 3 plus 2 plus through tackle and stand there and then 2 plus off tackle and 1D 1D surf oh no he's just going in for the ball again Relentless ball tickling for PC, but he's just he's just not getting any dice any time he calls in. <laughs> yeah, he maybe would may, may be have been better off lying down. Honestly, this half, like maybe he'd have been better off just lying down and relying on the elder one turn as as kind of crap as it is. But then um, you know, like that's a hard call to make because. Ultimately, like looking at the game, you're thinking as PC that you can't win, and the only way you win is by getting the ball sack and not going for overtime. But he still, he really hasn't taken much damage. Those those three apples have really, really worked wonders. So, you know, maybe maybe he shouldn't have thought like that. Maybe he didn't think like that. But the way he's played looks like he's thought that. It was probably worth uh, the claw bomber blitzing this guy, so he could have got guard. Mm -hmm. but never mind. <laughs> I mean, he can still get in with no guard here, can't he? Oops, there's a well, there was no need to blitz with that claw bomber because he's got another tackle. Cl Claw Palmer over here. <laughs> so now this guy can go there and make it very safe. I mean, he could have done anyway. I'm sure this guy could have got to here. And then he could have gone there and over the next cage with guard on opposite corners. Yeah, he's not going to do that. I mean, it's, 
He's got such a man advantage now, Mr. Page, that realistically the shot isn't on, is it? Three, three, two, two, two. And then three, 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 two. And three. We'll have the one turn. There will be a one turn chance for PC. It'll be super interesting. Were you on my game, Jim, or something else? Uh, we are still in your game. Uh, <laughs> well, it's when an exciting conclusion. Yeah, no, no spoilers, please, as to whether this one turn works and you're headed into overtime. <laughs> there is a one turn chance, isn't there, with Eldril? I oh, came back, yeah. Yeah, there is. This is live, so we've got another. I thought I thought it might have already failed, you see, because like it, it, it could be you could have just conceded or something. I don't know, but no, no. well, uh, I haven't. So, so you've got the one. Well, I mean, it's a it's an incredible long shot, but we'll give it a go. Yep. Telling me there's a chance. It's not that long a shot, depending on how uh, depending on how Mr. Pig sets up, isn't it? Which it looks like he's backlining from that first move. Sure looks, it sure looks like he's backlining. <laughs> so yeah, not such a small chance. Is he going to do a tight LOS or a spread LOS? Will it be a repeat of earlier? Yeah. I mean, it's the same. It's the same setup. Tapioca King learned not to do that setup again. <laughs> Will Mister Page learn to not do this? Oh, he already, he's already got it. No, he hasn't. Oh, oh. I mean, that doesn't really do anything. Oh no! It's, oh no! No, there you go. I mean, not just lazy, like, just bad, right? It's not just lazy, like, three together is way, way, way... It just makes the one turn way too easy. Like, incredibly too easy. <laughs> because it's giving you, like, secondary and maybe even tertiary chances to push to push people forward. Um, you know, if you get powers on the, on the initial hits. Obviously, he's up against a juggernaut as well. So, yep. Yep. Yeah, it's 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 worse for Mr. Page because also because Mr. Uh, Mr. P I was going to say Mr. PC <laughs> because Mr. Uh, I nearly said it again because PC's one turn is easier, right? With the movement eight, only needs three pushes. So it's even it's even worse to defend like this against uh, against the elder one turn. There's one push. There's two pushes. And now PC gets to use the fact that there's this these guys are next to each other for an easy third push as well. He could have juxed him, yeah, he could have juxed him. But I'm not sure it makes any... Uh, I guess if he juxed him, he could have got the fourth push, but he doesn't really need the fourth push. Also, maybe he could have got the ball to him already. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he could have already passed it to him. That's a slight... A slight 
unoptimization. What <laughs> is unoptimization a word? <laughs> A slight mistake, not not passing to Eldor earlier, because now it's going to be a three plus pass. And obviously, he's got no steel, so wouldn't have any minus. Oh, and it's very sunny, so it's a four plus pass instead of a three plus pass. Oof, we might have to GFI then. an extra hit in case of uh, in case, well I mean if it works it will be all the time right? so yeah this is going to be a 4 plus pass it might be better to double GFI to change it from a 3 to a 4 especially as Eldra has uh, Lona I'm not sure if the double GFI is better well not now it isn't <laughs> <laughs> oh, double one. Wow. Whatever happens, if you double one, it doesn't matter. Oh, well, snakes. Yeah. They were, they were not with good a, dice. With a reroll, I think the 2-2-3 two, two, is better than the raw 4. Yes, I believe it is as well. But then there's also the element of how likely are you to use the reroll, and you might be more likely to use the reroll than the 2 on the two, two, three. Um, yeah, true, true. Um, I mean, largely, Jim. What really struck me about that game was just how much I didn't care. <laughs> you know, I don't know if it showed in my play, but I really wasn't that focused. Yeah. I mean, first half I played pretty shit. I thought um, it I could think... all have worked out, but it didn't. He got you know a nice double power when I had it on a bludger. Didn't he? Yeah, I, I, two I, I, I didn't the like the turn afterwards. you went through. I didn't like the. No, I didn't. Yeah, that shit. The turn right. I went through was shit. I tried yeah. to do too much. Yeah, it was like too far away, right? Like just yeah, one turn of closing, I'm, and and then. Yeah, I wasn't in that much of a hurry. I could have closed up on the left hand flank and still pushed through the next turn. Yeah. So yeah. I should have done that really, but it was all right, you know. And second half I had plenty of chances, which made it at least fun to play. But yeah. they all came to nothing. Every you know one in four failed. One in four failed. So there we are. Yeah, the, the dice were pretty horrible, and uh, amazingly, PC... Like, instead of qualifying with the real team. No, Fluffy Burrito, I qualified more, more or less by mistake. <laughs> I was playing some Blood Bowl 2, just because Blood Bowl 3 is so wretched, and everyone concedes all the damn time. And <laughs> I had three teams from early in the season when there wasn't any Blood Bowl 3. And the other two died, the Dwarves and the High Elves. So I thought, oh, I'll just have some games with the Dark Elves. And they were, like, they were 70.01 dode. <laughs> and fifth Dark Elves, I think. I didn't play them in the last week of the thing. <laughs> but it turns out one of the top five was Artemis, so of course he doesn't ever accept his ticket. So they offered me a ticket, and I thought, ah, why not? Why not? But it's those are the two games of Blood Bowl 2 I've played since the you know, the end of last season, because <laughs> you know, it just feels like old-school history now, really, rather than something that's sort of interesting to me, unfortunately. Well, Era BBs was pretty interesting for me today. Um, yeah, I hear you're all having fun with that, which is great. Hmm. Um, and I think for leagues, Blood Bowl 2 will stay the you know, default client for a while because Blood Bowl 3 just isn't ready for leagues. <laughs> yes. But the open thing on Blood Bowl 2, I mean, I don't know about you, Jim, but I haven't dipped into it at all. I haven't played a game in it. No, but I mean, I, I haven't sure for I a while. To. I hadn't for a while anyway, but I think if I, if I wanted to play Blood Bowl, I would be playing Blood Bowl 2. Because you... yeah, because Blood Bowl three is is unbearable for me. As much as I want to play the Blood Bowl yeah, three rules, you've got the looking current, from... and then you know, yeah, like, exactly. like a dinosaur playing. That's what tempts me towards it, but it's just such hard work to play. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I've had a couple of weeks off because of that, really, because I was just getting so tired of forcing myself to make it try and make Blood Bowl happen. And Blood Bowl two just feels so old now. I just really don't want anything to do with that rule set. I mean, I did my best in that game. You know, I tried, but. I was eating dinner at the same time. I can't say I was that bothered by what happened. <laughs> but, you know, it's kind of freeing, isn't it? You can just do what you feel like and see what happens. Yeah, and Dimmy's, Dimmy's hypothesis held up again that the team with 20 AV bricks beat the team with two. <laughs> yeah, which is, you know, it's not unlikely, is it? I mean, though, to be fair, he didn't exactly smash me out, did he? he no, just... well, there were a lot. Of, there were three apples used, right? That helped a lot. But, yes, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, you know, I did my best. He, he had a team that he'd built very well this season to kill elves. He put five claw on it. Five tackle into it. 
Yeah, five tackles. And they, you know, they did do the damage. But that said, I mean, I still felt I had plenty of chances. He still left his cage very loose, allowed me lots of dodges in. Yep. Many of which, you know, weren't that bad odds, but seemingly none of them were. Yeah, they all failed. Of dice yeah. On this ball. <laughs> Threw the kitchen sink at it, and then you just all failed every time. <laughs> yeah. Well. So you know, sometimes that's that. Right, I'm off for a smoke, and I think that may well be, unless there's a blitz pit or something, that may well be my last ever blood bowl too. I don't I have no desire to knock a team up and try and you know get in last minute. Tragedy, tragedy. Well, Particularly there might there might be blood bowl super league or something. Yeah, there might be. I mean, something like that would tempt me onto it. I mean, it's a client I can use. I just it's the rule set that bores me. Yeah, yeah. That's something more naf style or something's fine, isn't it? Because in, in that again, people don't tend to build claw palms and things. Yes. <laughs> well, there you go. But anyway, you know, I did it. I, I did what I was supposed to do. I mean, I, 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 you know, I'm not saying I didn't try. I tried hard. I'd love to have won the game, but I didn't. Yep. Well, well I still do some comms. I mean, yeah, you know, me, I, I love talking. I love spending time with Jimmy and talking about Blood Bowl. So, yeah, if there's a game on and I'm free, I'll certainly pop on and do that. Glorious. Glorious. I just don't think I'm that interested to play it myself, really. Fair enough. Yeah, it, it's well, fair the missing enough. fumble and Blood Bowl 3. I mean, yes, it's the new rules, but it's just so difficult to play. It's kind of, you know. I don't know. I don't know where my future lies. Yeah, I, I mean, that's what I said from 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 twenty months ago. You know, Blood Bowl three's arrival will kill Blood Bowl two. Like it's inevitable because who's going yeah, to play a thirteen-year-old rule yeah. set when when the new that, rules come out? And, that and, you just know, that eight-year-old graphics and UI and everything. You would have thought that, and it is it is kind of shiny, right? Like it it's uglier to read. It's yeah. less enjoyable to play, but it, it is it is like more crisp. It is more detailed. Oh, it's loud and noisy and all modern like that, isn't it? With bright colours and cuts and things. I, I wouldn't so, say that the bright colours are modern. I just say they're terrible. <laughs> but, um, yeah. but yeah, the, you know, like it does look newer than Blue. Like Blue, it makes Blood Bowl Two look old graphically, even though Blood Bowl Two is more readable and everything. But the, the elephant in the room, well, I mean, there's loads of elephants in the room, you know, how badly it's programmed, how obvious that we've probably only got this year and the money's cut off if it isn't you know, in a decent position by the end of it, that Nacon sent it out to die, they were tired of funding a project that never looked like going anywhere. You know, these are all things we pretty much guess at, but seem fairly proven. But the big elephant in the room, Jim, is there's so much chatter on the tabletop about a new rule set. Perhaps late 24, early 25, COVID might delay it into 25, but it fits with all the schedules that Games Workshop always do about four years for a specialist game like this. We had rules in 2016, we have rules in 2020. There's a new guy that came in after the guy that wrote this rule pack. You know, he's going to want to put his mark on and write some rules, isn't he? Yeah. And so we could once again be left with a game that even if this does ever get sorted out, is instantly, the minute it's actually playable, superseded by a whole new set of tabletop rules. That Wouldn't be, that just be the greatest irony? That would be pretty hilarious, yeah. Pretty hilarious. Blood Bowl Feet finally turns into a reasonable product just as it becomes outdated once again. Yeah, well, the timing that the first game came it out in 2015 and then 2016. was just was shocking, dropped. wasn't it? Three I mean, months this, before they dropped the new rules. Yeah, and then this came, yeah. came out in 20, 2023 and then the new rules might come out in 2024. So, yeah, unbelievable. Anyway, I've got to wrap up the YouTube video. Yeah, thank Sorry. you very much, PC, oh, for coming out. It's been, it's, oh, been, pleasure. it's been nice. Uh, you know me, I mean, don't get me wrong, I played very badly. I thought Paige played pretty well. Um, considering he's not very good against elves in general, I thought he played pretty solid. So yeah, no, no complaints. There you go. And congratulations to Mr. Page. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.